legalize marijuana Hello, this is Stuart Richland from 420lawoffice.com and here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for touching base. As you may know, I've been a lawyer here in Southern California for 25 years and I've been focusing on the rights of medical marijuana co-ops, collectives, caregivers, patients, landlords, and doctors for the last five years. We have a current crisis in the city of Los Angeles that even among those centers that were assured, supposedly, of their ability to continue because they were on the blessed list uh, that had registered by uh, November of 2007, uh, out of those, two-thirds have recently been informed that they cannot remain open, uh, although that there will be a lawsuit to determine their rights. Um, this office stands ready to represent you if your collective is in this interesting, unique position among the Los Angeles litigation on medical marijuana plaintiffs. We currently represent about 10 of those plaintiffs and they are of mixed description. Some are some of the 187, some filed hardships. Uh, some were presumably going to be disqualified because of transfers of location or of management. We uh, believe that the city did not give due process to your collective because there was no notice that the criteria that they applied would be the criteria uh, that were important. Uh, for instance, even back in 2009, there was a medical marijuana FAQ that was posted by the city fathers on their city website which said that transferring a collective had no negative legal consequences. Uh, also, there probably is no due process uh, justification or rational basis justification for the thousand foot rule for not holding medical marijuana collectives to be a pre-existing non-conforming use and uh, many other defective aspects of the ordinance which can be challenged. Um, the government code provides certain requirements uh, that were not followed by our city fathers and uh, there's preemption arguments and uh, as well as constitutional arguments and patients rights. So I've been involved in this litigation now with the city uh, since its inception, uh, I am proud to say I've taken a lead in the arguments. Arguments. If you've had a chance to read the transcripts or if you've been there, you know that the cream rises to the top and that there have been some really good uh, arguments made and I'm proud to say that I've been at the center of all of them so far. Uh, there are other qualified lawyers, certainly, uh, but I'm here to talk about my own skills and I hope they're self-evident to you. I take the Pepsi challenge. I urge you to uh, compare what this firm can offer you and come in for a consultation. We're going to be scheduling some meetings. If you're interested in finding out about the different legal options you have, whether you are one of the 187 or one someone with a hardship or any other condition, but in particular for those people who receive the denial letters, give us a call at 888-420-LAW-1. That's 888-420-LAW-1 and we'll be honored to give you a consultation and let you know some of the legal theories that me and my team have put together. I'm proud to say that uh, I don't work alone. I have a certified paralegal on my team from UC Berkeley, as well as qualified office staff, another attorney also of 25 years experience that wants to help, and a third attorney who's a former city attorney who would love to participate with our firm if we can get enough uh, people interested in working. Uh, we were able to use the economy of scale on the last round of lawsuits by representing about 10 collectives, and we haven't had to rebuild them yet, even though we've had lots and lots of hearings. So in a large way, your dollar does go further when you are hiring a firm that's doing a lot of work in the area. Um, so thank you very much for touching base, and I'll see you soon. Legalize marijuana.